Bonbini at day five. We have been on Adventist Radio. We have a video from it and you will see the part where we introduced ourselves and where we could also uh, explain the program, what we are doing here and why we are here. Unfortunately, two students could not join us, but if you want to, if you want to hear to the whole interview, you can look at the link below. But now you want, will see a short clip. Enjoy. Querido gente, não me lembro de escutar cá, para a noite nós tínhamos um grupo invitado para nós. O grupo aqui também diretamente for de Alemanha. E tá bom para nós começar. The S forum Kia Winochi. Good night everybody. Good night. We are you are welcome here. I would like to that you guys introduce yourself to our audience tonight. Good evening. My name Bonochi. My name is Kelsey. I work with the group in Austria. I was a student for one year and now I've been working there for um, one and a half years extra. So I'm with the group and I will help in the health clubs and in the different things that we will announce to you in just a moment. Okay, no problem. And next to you? Felisabeth. Felisabeth. My name is Karen. I'm from Switzerland and I'm really happy to be here in Curaçao. We are going to have health club. I'm going to talk with another um, brother about nutrition and we are going to show you how to do healthy food but also delicious food. Okay. Bon notte, everyone. My name is Melinda. I'm 21 years old and I am also a student at TGM at the school and I'm very happy to be on this beautiful island here. Okay, thank you Melinda. Bon Bini, I'm Joanna, I'm from Germany, I'm 29 years old. I'm gonna um, tell you something more about exercise in the health club and I'm excited to see you there, I hope. Bon noche, meta ben Monica, I am from Czech Republic and I'm 30 years old and I prepared for you a lecture about mental health, about how to overcome our fears. So if you are interested, I will be privileged to see you and uh, to meet you. Okay. Hallo, gezegende salat iedereen. Ik ben Michelle Froeme. Ik ben 16 jaar oud en um, God is goed. En ik ben heel blij dat ik hier nu kan zijn. En ik ga een presentatie houden over zonlicht. Dus uh, kom allemaal ook naar alle andere presentaties. Ik hoop jullie daar allen te zien. Oké. Okay. Panachi, mijn naam is Nicole. Ik ben 36 años y soy de Alemania. Yo soy parte del equipo de Austria y estoy apoyando a nuestros estudiantes aquí en Curaçao. Estamos muy felices de estar aquí y me encantaría verlos en nuestros talleres y también en todo el programa que tenemos aquí con el grupo. Y les queremos enseñar algo para sobre remedios naturales este domingo. Ok. Goedenavond allemaal. Ik ben Jasper Boy. Uh, zoals jullie kunnen horen kom ik uit Nederland. Ik ben 29 jaar oud en uh, ik zal samen met uh, Karen uh, het over uh, nutrition hebben. Oké. Okay. Okay. Feliz Sabbat. My name is David and I'm from Germany. I'm 20 years old and I'm really excited to talk about fresh air. I want to encourage you to enjoy the fresh air at the beach and yeah, if you're interested, then come to the health club. Okay, last but not least. <laughs> Feliz Sabado. Uh, my name is Michael. I come from Croatia. I will hold a lecture on the health club about the rest. The rest is really important. The subtitle is, Are you tired of being tired? Personally, before TGM, I was a student of computer science and I was working a lot and I was really, really tired. And I would like to share with you simple, maybe tricks or simple principles how you can get really rest and have a productive day. So welcome all of you on our island. Thanks for coming. First of all, I hear the, the name TGM. What is TGM? What does it mean TGM? TGM stands for, in German, it stands for Training Cell Center for Health Mission. So TGM is uh, an institution that stands for training people, young and old, um, how to use health to reach the world and to show God's character to others. 
Okay. And why, what was the purpose to be here? So every year, so we have year-long programs and we have students who come every year. And as part of their training, each year the students go on a mission trip to a country generally outside of Europe. Okay. Um, we've been to the Philippines, to Zambia, to Ethiopia, to um, Colombia, South Africa. So um, we go to different places where our help is needed, where we can be a blessing and where we can use the skills that we've learned during the year with the, stu uh, with the people there where okay. we go. And on this side of Curaçao, there will be no different? It will be no different. It okay. will be just the same. And what, when you're going to be in which place to um, communicate with the people from Curaçao? So um, we are working with um, different types of programs. One of the main programs that we have, as you heard, is the health club. Okay. So we have a four-week health club, you know, after the, the Christmas season, you know, how we um, tend to not be as healthy. And I think there are a lot of people who want to start the new year with a fresh start. In this four-week health club, we want to teach practically um, how to live a healthier life, how to cook food that, like Karen said, is nutritious but also delicious not just that you that it tastes you know healthy but that it actually tastes good um, and so we want to teach practically how to live healthier we want to help people with the questions that they have and the needs that they face during this health club so what more are you will bring to the community of Curaçao so later on in a few weeks We will have an evangelistic series, and um, Monica, our student from Czech Republic, will share a little bit about that. Yes, so uh, what I realized in my life that uh, a lot of people are going through some struggles in their life, and uh, I wanted to uh, be able to help them. That's why also I'm studying at this school, and uh, because it is Christ's method. Christ at first uh, meet the needs of the people, Okay. To win their to win their hearts and their trust, mm -hmm. and then he can also bring them to to God. Many people are going through some uh, serious diseases that make them worried, and that are painful, or through some unhealed relationships. Yes. Or stressful situations. Mm -hmm. And that are some of these topics what we are uh, what will we will be going through at the evangelistic series. And if you want to learn simple principles about how to stay healthy, how to forgive or how to overcome uh, your fears, let me invite you to the evangelistic series Life Without Boundaries, which will be held from Wednesday 24th of January through Friday 26th at, uh, every, every day at uh, 19. The place we will let you know And uh, I'm already already looking for forward to seeing you and to meet you. So um, next we and the next thing we will also do we will hold youth programs at the churches um, at of Emmastad and Sharasil. One week we, be, we are in Emmastad, next week we are in Sharasil. But every week we have Both a different topic. Topics, so we do not repeat. Uh, Melinda from <laughs> from Austria yeah. slash Romania will share about that. Yeah, exactly. So we are coming to the youth program. This will be very exciting. Um, we want to invite all churches and not only the youth. Um, and as um, Kelsey already said, we have once in Emmastad and then in Cherasil. The first one will be in Emmastad and we will have it the whole January every Sabbath afternoon at four o'clock. We are very happy to see you. And don't forget, we alternate from the one to the other. Others. We will have very interesting topics. Um, the first one will be a little intro from TGM. As we said, we want to say like who we are, what we're doing here, and what we're doing generally. We will also talk um, what or how to know um, God's will in my life and why is this so important and why God has also a plan in your life for you. We will talk about devotional life, how to make it, when to make it and 
what should it be about. We will talk about media and the mind and how also um, our brain is working and how it can be influenced from different things and also about lasting changes, sorry. How we can um, look in front, be focused and not to look back, not to turn back to the past. We have one, one short um, more thing that we are also doing, because we're yeah. doing a lot of things while we're here, and that's the Friday night... Um, Vesper? uh, Vespers. Okay. And Johanna will share a little bit with us about that. Um, at first, I want to also invite you for the Wednesday um, evenings. We have the prayer meetings in the churches of mm -hmm. Amastad and, um, and Shirazi. Shirazi. So it will the same with the other program. So um, it will alternate. Yes, Wednesday. Wednesday yeah. It was in Amastad, and the next Wednesday it will be in Shirazi. So um, we invite you. We will do the program a little bit. Um, so we have a devotion time and we sing together and it will be a blessing. I hope so. And I also invite you for the Friday Vespers. Um, so next week the Vesper will be in Sherasid. Yes, that's right. Okay. And um, on f the Fridays we have a Sabbath opening together. We sing together and pray. And the main point is the mental health um, lecture. Yes, we will talk about what influences our minds and how important it is for our health. So what's important for the spiritual life, for the mental life and our physical um, healthy life. When I heard about this uh, pattern of thinking, um, we will talk about it. Um, I could understand more about my and others' reactions in some situa situations in daily life. So it's very important to know that we we know about the IQ, the intelligence quotient, but do we know a lot about the emotional quotients? And when I heard it the first time, I thought, wow, what's that? I was really interested in that because this influenced our life more than our intelligence, qu intelligence quotients. And we will talk about that more in the Friday evenings. So it's very important to know that because we have a very stressful, stressed life and we mm -hmm. can um, release this stress life or these tensions in, our body and everything through the knowing about that and how we can apply it in the daily life. So it's very important. We want to sing a song that I'm sure many of you know. Um, and you can sing along at home. And we hope you enjoy it. Okay. What a friend we have in Jesus All our sins and griefs to Say. 